Hello everyone, this is Chase again, and today I want to show you how to get the Refresher Braille 18 working with VoiceOver on Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard. I have a MacBook running OS 10 Snow Leopard with the latest update sitting here in front of me, and it's on and logged in with VoiceOver, the Mac's built-in screen reader turned on, and I'm currently on the desktop. Now I want to show you how to connect the Refresher Braille 18 and get Braille output with USB. This is very simple. Now note, if your refresher braille is off and you plug it into USB, it will turn on. I'm going to plug the display in. We hear a little noise from voiceover. And we have braille on the display. And we see splitter. Image, panning to the right, browser, list. One of five selected. One of five selected. And the voiceover voice is saying that. So we already have you are USB support. Open. Now if I go to the dock with control function F3, being I have, this is a laptop, I have to use the function key. One dock. We're on Fine. the dock. Running. On the refresher rail, I see finer, finder, running, which says RNG, which you stands for running. One of, panning to the right, Press control. Option. Space. one of 19, dashboard, two of 19, mail, etc. And, I, and I'm using the left and right panning buttons. You could also use the joystick. Dashboard 2 of 19, mail 3 of 19, Safari 4 of 19. And you could use corded commands on the display. As you can see, that is very easy to connect the refresher braille. To open this application, press Control, Option, Space. At this point, I would like to show you how to pair the refresher braille 18 with the Mac using Bluetooth. Bluetooth is turned on on my Mac, but if it's, if it's not turned on on yours, you'll want to make sure that it's turned on in the Bluetooth settings. My Refresher Braille 18 is turned on, and as you may remember from the previous video, by default when the Refresher Braille 18 is on, Bluetooth is enabled. What we need to do now is to get into System Preferences to set up the Bluetooth Braille display. We find System Preferences in the Apple menu. We can get there by pressing on a laptop, Control function F2. If you are using something like an iMac or Mac Mini, you would just use Control F2. Menu bar, Apple. We're on Apple, which is what we want, so we'll down arrow. Apple, menu, 11 items. About this Mac. I'm still software down arrowing. Ellipsis. Mac OS 10 software. System preferences. Ellipsis. I'll press enter on system, system preferences. preferences. System preferences. Window. System preferences. Toolbar. Now I'll use the VO keys, which are Control and Option. VO stands for voiceover with the right arrow to move area. to the next control on the screen, which is a preference, or which is a scroll area. scroll area. So to interact with it or open it, we use control, option, shift, and down arrow. Interact with preference panes, scroll area. Now we need to tab items. one time to get to all the settings. Button. Now, these are in alphabetical order, and we need to get to universal access, which is close to the button. end. So we can press U universal access and jump right there. Press spacebar to open it. Window, universal access, toolbar. And we'll use the tab See, key. Spawn, select open Still voice tabbing over. over. Off, select open voice over utility and button. we came to open voice over utility, which is where all the voice over settings are, which is how you control you the built in screen reader. I'll press space press bar to open it. Voice over utility, window, voice over utility, utility categories, table, one and now we're on a table. Column, one of one, general, and there are many S options here, like general and verbosity. But what we need to get to is Braille, so I'll press B, and we're on the Braille option. I'll now tab, layout, select tab and we have two tabs. We have Layout with several settings which you can adjust according to your liking, or if we press right arrow, displays, tab we have the Displays tab, and I'll press spacebar here. Selected, displays, tab, now if we tab, displays, empty table. this is what where it shows the currently connected Braille displays. There is none connected at this time, so it's an empty table. I tabbed again and we have add Bluetooth display. I'll press space bar. Select Bluetooth one row added. And you heard one row added. Refresh a braille two seven zero six five six six eight. And you heard refresh a braille and the refresh a braille serial number. I'll press tab. Remember this device. Uncheck checkbox. Cancel button. Select default button. And I'll press space bar on select. Bluetooth devices table one row selected. Name. Bluetooth UI server, window, pairing request from refresh braille 27065668. Secure edit text has keyboard focus. This is where I type in the pin code. I'll type in 1. 
two, three, four. You hear the clicking sound because it won't speak a password. And I'll press enter. Closing dialog. And the display went blank, and now we see the serial number again. Voice over utility. Went Window. blank, you Voice heard the utility. connecting noise, help and we see help BTN on the display. So the display is now connected. You are currently Quick note about the pin code. What you might remember from previous videos on the Refresher Braille 18 is you have a limited time to type in 1234, which is a secure way to connect to the Refresher Braille. I typed that in in the edit area and pressed enter, and after a few seconds, the Refresher Braille 18 was connected. Now we can read what's on the screen on the display and use the display's controls to navigate. Help button. If I joystick to the left, only allow input from primary Braille display when mirroring. Check checkbox. Remove Bluetooth display button. And we're in voiceover settings. We could also get into an edit area and use the Refresher Braille 18's keypad to, click this to type text. 